Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finally made it into the Major League. Insert your long hiatus joke here. And in this episode, we are going to continue our trek through the Major League. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 8 in the Glitz Pit, the Poker Faces! Po -po 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 way to date yourself. I want to keep that part of yours from attacking. You hear me? Keep that little firebrand in check. Got it? Only you attack! Now get in there and show them who's boss now. Hopefully there's no penalties with just switching party members around and whatnot. Uh, I guess we could just start with Gumbella, because why the heck not? Don't want to waste a turn uh, switching her out. Uh, the poker faces, I assume those are pokies. I don't think we've seen them yet. Oh, hey, he's a lot more polite, because we are a lot more dignified and respected around these parts. He's not just like, follow me, bub. This guy's just like, oh, if you'll excuse me, would you like to uh, come this way, please? Oh, it's these guys! Oh, it's these guys. Um, I don't think we can beat them without Yoshi or Earth Tremor. Uh-oh. Uh, the ultimate weapons, yep, uh, fight to the finish with the poker faces. Actually, wait, Yoshi can't even attack these guys now that I think about it. Ooh, you're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle! If you remember, we saw these guys back in, uh, chapter one, where we fought them, they're called Bristols, so we do have them on recording already. But we can't use party members. Huh. Uh, do we have items? Ice Storm, maybe? That might work. I wish we had a power block. Uh, well, either way, Yoshi can't attack. I gotta start calling him- I never called him Yoshi back in the day. I always called him by the name, but... I know a lot of people just tend to name the partner Yoshi. Thank you. Oh, wait! Super Guard also works. This will be my, uh, retribution. It'll be my initiation back into Super Guard land. Thing is, if they attack the Yoshi, though, will I, um and I super guard with him, am I not gonna advance in the next round? I'm not sure. Oh, god darn it. Well, at least defending gives us, like, full defense from these guys. Yoshi Blue has 10 HP, so he's very frail. Thank you. And there you go. Perfect. That was a pretty fun fight. And getting back into the groove of the Super Guard. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! I like how they look when they're wobbling around like that. It's really funny. Just gonna keep on zooming through here. Had enough of this Chapter 3 nonsense, so let's just keep on getting through these matches. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Up she goes. And what's next? Another email. Gonzalez, you hear that? You just got another email. See what it is, man. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. It's from our mystery X dude. Go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'd give anything to know who this dude is. Oh god, people are gonna hate me. I know that's like the song that plays when it's an unknown a message sender. It's from Mario 3, but I don't remember exactly where in Mario 3. I apologize for being most dishonorable to the Mario name, but uh, I was never really a big fan of Mario 3 in general, so... Oh well. I want to not even be from Mario 3, so I just sound even worse. <laughs> uh, but whatever we head out here. Hey, we got some Gonzalez posters out here now. That's cool. Uh, we go over here now to the watering hole outside. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything specific. Uh, did he say phone booth near the watering hole? I honestly don't even remember what he just said. I should have been listening more. I know we could just look at the email again, but I want to get it on my own. Okay, fine. I'll look it up in case you ever forget. Like, I just did in like a matter of five seconds because I don't pay attention. Uh, anonymous, no title. Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit from X. Huh. Why am I completely blanking on this? The watering hole? When they say watering hole, 
Oh wait, I remember this confusing the heck out of me because like watering hole, you think like the fountain out there or the water out there, but no, watering hole is like the name of like a place where you drink things. So this guy. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Oh, actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this thing the letter was talking about is this. <laughs> we got a super hammer! That's a nice surprise. And Toadette's here. Hey, it's me again, Toadette! It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Heart. Congratulations on getting that super hammer! It's way more powerful! Plus, you could also use a wicked cool new technique! Wanna learn about it? Sure you do! Let's practice! It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it! Hold down B and rotate the squiggly thing until your body twists up! Then release B to perform your super hammer technique! The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B! So all I gotta do is use the hammer once, and swirl around, and let go! Do it! Ooh, excellent, Mario! You're so awesome! Wanna try it again? Uh, no thanks, I got it. Okay, great. Oh, I didn't know she was blushing before. That's cute. Okay, great! You mastered the super hammer! With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! Oh, gee, I almost forgot! You can use the super hammer in battle, too! Try it! See you later, Mario! Good luck with your quest! So we can finally get rid of those big blocks that we've been seeing. So far as I like, so far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. That Hammer Whack 2005. Oh, what a year. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonkability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, if it's not like it's that hard of a hand to give to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time! Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room from X. The blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. So we don't have access to the minor league locker room anymore, which is a bit... Awkward, so I don't know how we're gonna go about reaching that place. Huh. Uh, I guess it couldn't hurt to check, though. Let's go over there. And yes, it is very nice to finally have a fast travel system. You got really sick and spoiled in Paper Mario 1 how you just had a spin dash for no reason whatsoever in that game. It was really sick and cool, and like, uh, this game was like vibrant and beautiful enough to where I don't mind going too slow because I just like taking in all the scenery at first But then after a while I'm just like, oh my god, how did I ever live without this stinking Yoshi party member? Uh, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the Meyer League again. No, not really Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in Uh, sounds a bit risky, but I guess we'll go for it Oh, look at these guys are in here now Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? If you want to fight outside the rain, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. Wow. Any of you guys missed me? Mr. Gonzalez, you're back in the minor league? What's the matter, Bomb? Didn't you leave something? Did you leave something in here, Bomb? And this guy. Grack, it's mustache here to laugh at Cleft Door. Grack. Okay, I can't resist. I'm going to make a reference to something that nobody's ever going to get, and I'm going to rip off a Let's Play because that's all I'm ever good at. Ah, the monkeys! Okay, there you go. Now then, this block over here. Just go ahead and swing away at it. And we can make it inside. There's a paper up there. A very old computer. Just jump up here, use Yoshi to hover across. So he's like the spin dash and park carry all in one. How nice. Got a dubious paper, not a dubious disc. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Whoa, Gonzalez. That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those besides us? They even took pictures. Who'd leave something like this just lying around? This just rakes the funny business. Uh, that might be the minor leaguers, Blue. I don't know. Uh, whatever. You again, Mr. Gonzalez. What are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. How come 
Rockhawk's able to just walk waltz in and out of these things then. It's because he's the champion. He can do whatever he wants. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm. I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Yeah, busted our humps, we broke a block, we hovered over to a thing. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. Well, now that that's taken care of, I kinda wish we got a bit more time with that paper to see what it was all about, but unfortunately not. Though, I'm kinda grateful that we don't actually have to go back to the minor league, that was just like a fluke, I guess. I don't know what was up with that line, but it freaked me out as a kid. I was like, no, I don't want to do it again. Uh, but whatever, back in the Major League. Let's go ahead and start our next match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 7 in the Blitz Pit, the Shell Shockers. That's a cool name. Now listen here, son. This battle, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that flouncing around, you get me? Now get in there and hand a whooping or two. I wonder if that also counts towards party members, because not all of them jump. Goombella and Blue are the only ones. Flurry counts as a bot. I think it's just for Mario. That'd be too complex to like consider what is and isn't a jump for these guys. Um, I don't think these guys are gonna be great to be using hammers against, but we did get get a new hammer just now, so it might be nice to show it off. Yeah, it's these guys. So one of them's in the air, so we outright need to use a jump. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez and the true the turtles of Hurdle. Yep, a fight to the finish with the shell shockers. Let me at him! Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? So called great Gonzalez, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Get yourselves ready to rumble! So I think Yoshi could ground pound these guys no problem without getting in trouble. Just don't use our jump. See, this is the jump command, and then he's just the attack command. Okay. I think we're good to go. Uh, but we do need to use Gumbella, so... No, I didn't mean to... Oh, did not mean to appeal. Switch to Gumbella. Switching to Gumbella. Della. Lucky. Lucky. A. A. Oh, god darn it. Ouchies. Okay, at least we got one super guard in. Uh, switch to Gumbella. Tattle on this guy. We need to do both of them because the winged and wingless ones are two different enemies. That's a shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. And when they flip back up, their attack gets boosted and they go totally ape. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called shady Koopas, huh? That sounds really powerful, actually. Uh, I guess we'll show off the hammer. Uh, oh, we do have a Quake Hammer badge, I forgot about that. Uh, Super Hammer, it is a new ability, it's not a badge, it just gets unlocked in our uh, hammer inventory for 2 FP. We could strike an enemy, knocking it into the enemy behind it. I don't know if that's going to hit the paratrooper or not, just to be safe, I'm not going to because I don't want him to lose his wings because we still need to do the thing. So we'll defend. Uh, try to get that super guard. God darn it. Thank you, at least we got one. Uh, go ahead and tattle the, uh, S, S pa what? Shady Paratrooper. I was like, what? I was like, Soaring Sky Paratrooper, what? That's a Shady Paratrooper. It's a Shady Koopa with wings, obviously. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, defense is 1, knock off its wings, and it's a Shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas and Paratroopas, its attack jumps when it flips off its back. This also says it has a move that hits you and your ally at once. Is that even possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. Uh, Yoshi would actually be a very good one. My god, I start calling blue. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. Oh, I lose this. Uh, god darn it. Not good. Oh, boy. That was an experience. Super hammer on this guy. Oh, good time for the double damage because it's not going to do that much right now with him standing up. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, didn't get the stylish timing on it, but whatever. Uh, whatever. Didn't get that either. Uh, ground pound now. It's a lot easier to use them both smack attack, and unfortunately I can't say smack it, smack it, smack it, smack it, smack it anymore. 
uh, we gotta do is just press R over and over and- God! Mm, I'm trying to explain how to play a sinking game, sinking- Fine, whatever. Jump, 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 there you go. There, getting the super guards back in action. Get that- mm, Fine. It's a very annoying battle. Uh, let's try and get that stylish command again. And see how much damage this does on its own. Oh god, there's a guy do it like after he's done swinging around like that. Um, let's go ahead and ground pound this guy. I don't typically use the super hammer in battle all that much. It's not that useful. I kind of would just rather use quake hammer or uh, power smash, but whatever, teach their own. There you go. B I N G O Bingo! It is nice that you get to use it um, whenever you don't have to use BP for it, which is nice. You get new hammer attacks even if you don't have that much BP. Uh, unfortunately, gonna put him in the front. I think I caught myself from saying Yoshi, but I just said him instead. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should put him on his back. Unfortunately, didn't do any damage though. And power smash. See how much this does. One, two, three. Smashy! Oh, I didn't get the last one. God darn it! Oh, now we're dizzy. Hey, if I did a jumping backflip for the south, so that kind of was using my jump. Oh, Yoshi's dead! I swear to God, don't have a life stream. Okay, good. But, oh, this isn't good. Oh, jeez. Oh, Quake Hammer. Can you miss with an earthquake when I'm dizzy? That would be jerkish. I hope that's not the case. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you, that, if you can or not, but that would be really crummy if that was the case. Hopefully it isn't. That was a really tough battle, actually. I think the battle requirements are specifically more challenging this time around, then it's not completely random. So that's kind of cool. That all you got? Uh-oh. Gonzalez! Very bad time for this to pop up. I was wondering if this was when it would happen. Whoa, Nelly, I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, a little tired from your match, great stinkwad. Too bad, prepare for pain. We got a surprise battle on our hands against the armor. You're still dead? <laughs> um. I literally can't do anything. Do I have a mystery or something? No, I literally cannot win this fight. That stinks! Because he's dead, I can't win the fight! I thought he would come back with 1 HP, because that's what characters do! But because it was in a cutscene, it didn't revive him? No! Well, I guess you get to see what happens if you lose this fight. That's not good. I literally can't do anything. I could run. That's literally all I could do. I could just run. Unless someone throws me a life stream. What are the chances of that happening, though? Oh my god. Like, I knew this would happen, but I didn't know what fight it was in. And I was just, like, holding my brother. I was like, please don't happen in this fight. Oh, that's annoying. No. You know who's laughing at uh, us, that's who blow. Whoa, talk about carnage. Great Gonzalez goes down. An unsanctioned match like this won't affect his ranking, but hooey, what a beating. The gauntlet's been thrown down. What'll happen next? Who knows, but it'll be wild. Until next time, everyone. See ya. I guess that was something I wanted to talk about, though, because I very rarely ever see anyone lose that match. It doesn't actually affect your ranking. They just laugh at you and leave, which is... Lame, because I wanted to beat them. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm stinking angry. I wanted the star points. I wanted to beat their stupid face. Gonzalez, another email? What now? Oh, I'm stinking angry. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat? That doesn't sound good. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? And the text was also different fonts. So that also makes it seem like a different person entirely. 
which is kind of awkward. Well, now that we're fully healed, let's go ahead and just... Ugh, stinking angry. Oh boy, how did fix it for a fight, huh? Up next will be rank six of the glitz bid, the fuzz. And this is son, the battle I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with the who brought you. A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pard. Uh, I assume it's gonna be a bunch of fuzzies, and I know for a fact that the ones we're gonna see are some new ones. So I guess we'll start with Gumbella. And, uh, Fooey. I know for a fact we could... God, here's the thing though, like, I gave my voice actors very specific lines to have, so like, I don't know if we're gonna get another email immediately after this stinking fight though. So, because of that, I don't have Goombella's voice actor assigned to read the next email dialogue. So I need to have Yoshi out in the party. Blue! God darn it. I know for a fact that these fuzzies that we're gonna see aren't exclusive to the Glitz Pit. And even if they are, we could do them, we could fight them again. So just stick with Yoshi. Blue! Oh my god. Why is this so difficult? I always was against the people who just named their Yoshi after Yoshi. Oh, whatever. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Bottomless Vacuums. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Fuzz. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Me York, me York, we'll suck up your souls, me York. Okay, so ready to battle, whatever. God, I wish I beat the stinking Okay, gonna stop talking about it. Don't change partners. Wow, imagine if one of them has a life shroom. Uh, but yeah, we already know about the regular fuzzies. They suck your HP. It's better to just, like, use your regular guard against them because it's a lot easier and, uh, whatnot. Uh, green fuzzies, they are a bit more powerful, have a lot more HP, and they can multiply, so I recommend getting rid of them first unless you're trying to get extra SP. Or experience. Or S oh, yeah, SP star points, but also star power. It's confusing. Flower Fuzzy, they steal FP rather than HP. So there you go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just attack him normally, I guess. I'm gonna keep the Green Fuzzy on screen for as long as possible because I would like to get some extra experience because I missed out on stuff. Uh, gonna go ahead and Ground Pound. I do believe these guys appear in later chapters, so we could tattle them later for that reason. And wow, he still has that much HP. Yep, he's gonna multiply. He had a baby from himself. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that would have been great if that was the finishing blow. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this guy. Very, very good. And I'm gonna go ground pound these guys. I've had fights with green fuzzies last for like forever, but I'm kind of okay with it because you get more and more experience points, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, because I'm multiplying. Uh, let's see. He's also gonna be multiplying. Oh, geez. Maybe I might regret this. I wonder if there is, like, an SP cap at some point. Uh, should I just keep attacking the one that has... Uh, let's keep as many on the field as possible for as long as possible, because I'm sadistic as heck like that. I could... Oh, wait, no. Ground pound. Uh, I think that was the one that came out. Uh, let's see. ba do ba do ba do ba do uh, no, he went down, okay. And he's attacking. God darn it. Oh, he just 3 HP, that's kind of scary. And he's multiplying. And they're still multiplying, oh geez. We got 5, I think 5 is the maximum you can have on the screen at once. Look at that, do we still get experience? Uh, doesn't really matter. Go and do that. <laughs> Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. This is a very annoying fight, but I'm purposely making it annoying because I want experience. There you go. Oh, and he goes down. Yeah, we got a lot more experience because of that. So this is kind of a good place to just grind on EXP if they keep on making bibbies. Uh, might accidentally have Yoshi die during this fight, which would be really annoying. Okay, it's very not preferable. And, god darn it. Okay, 3 HP. Uh, I think our fun time is over. Let's try and get rid of these guys for real this time. Oh, god darn it. Uh, we'll try a gulp, I guess? 
Okay, we got two fuzzies with one Yoshi, I guess. Hit that? God darn it. Uh, I was actually planning on recording a different LP today. I was planning on recording, like, entire LP for year eight right now instead of just continuing Thousand Year Door. Wouldn't have been great time-wise, I guess, because it isn't planned to come out for a couple more months, but I just thought it'd be good to get that done now the way because it's short and easy. But, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to get back in the groove of Thousand Year Door. That was the one I was most excited to start playing again, so for that reason, I just sort of uh, did that. Okay, he's down. God, I'm getting so much experience. Okay, forget about the sinking armored harriers. Who needs them when we got good old fuzzies on our side? Gonna do that, and we're good to go. 40 star points. That would've been amazing if it's doubled right there, but oh well. 64. We got ourselves a winner, the Gray Gonzalez! <laughs> How'd that floor taste? Well, like, how did we taste? Because they kept on sucking us. That's a great sentence. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We got 13 coins. Mario's ranking rose up to 6. Now if you excuse me, I must be going. Let's see, any email? Oh, hello, something else. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake. From a fan, I guess. Well, that looks deliciously scrumptious and scrum delicious and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take a rest real quick and maybe we'll have some of that delicious cake. But we gotta wait for the next episode because we're out of time. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to chow down on this delicious cake of goodness. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.